Right, Mark, it was just about a month ago I was in Las Vegas witnessing many of the same scenes that we're seeing play out today. It's almost like a script that replays during each mass shooting. And it's striking how familiar this has become. And our audience seems to share that collective dismay, that alarm, that something needs to be done. But what? First, we gasp. Then, we pray. Our hearts break. And we wonder, why? Then, we argue. Guns. No, people. But as 2017 draws to a close, what argument can be made that hasn't been made? What solution can we propose that hasn't been proposed? They're daunting questions, and so it comes to this. A collective sense of fatigue, weariness, that it's happened again, and will likely happen again. All we can do is just like helplessly wait for the next shooting to happen. Mariah McHenry pondered this following the Las Vegas shooting. She's a 21-year-old Washington State University student who's written for The Odyssey, a website for millennials. It just feels like it's going to happen again because it always happens and we don't do anything about it, so why wouldn't it happen again? She says she could have republished her Las Vegas piece today. The sentiments are the same, even stronger. A shooting in America isn't a shocking thing anymore, she writes. Horrifying? Yes. Devastating? Yes. Shocking? Not really. Among the arguing and finger-pointing on Facebook, there's also a sense of resignation. Unfortunately, just another day in America, wrote Alan. The deadliest mass shooting in 35 days, noted Rebecca. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Any good ideas out there? Because clearly what we have isn't working, posted Jeff. It's just crazy to me that people like don't want to do anything about it. For Mariah and many others, what happened in Texas and Las Vegas and Orlando, in theaters and churches and schools and homes, has become awfully commonplace. Now it's just like a normal occurrence and that's really sad. And Mark, there's also a lot of frustration from people after these shootings, but this time it seems like people maybe move on a little quicker because they're just so used to it. It's so strange to think you were at the Pulse nightclub shooting more than a year later, there was the Vegas shooting, and now a little over a month later, you're right. here. And don't forget the, shoot the shootings that have happened in the Pacific Northwest. Marysville Pilchuck, right. Burlington Mall, yeah. Mukilteo, all of these. Do you think uh, anything will change as a result of this? Do you, does your gut tell you that there's a, an inertia that will come from this? Well, you hope that yeah. when these things keep happening again and again, people who have the ability to do something about it will. But, um, you know... There's, it's, there's a lot of skepticism among people about what happens from here. Interesting, though. Good guy with the gun shot the gunman right. in this case. Right. Yeah, and a lot of people are pointing that yeah. out for sure. Okay. Ted Lamp, thank you. Lori?